if you've received one of my upcycle computers or considering uh, getting one of these upcycle computers, I wanted to give you a little bit of an introduction uh, to how I have these all set up. So these computers come in and they are about Windows 7, Windows 8 era machines usually. And so uh, Windows won't run on them, they won't be updated on them. Uh, and even if you could get Windows 10 or 11 on there, uh, it wouldn't run very well. <laughs> so what I do with these is I put on Linux Mint. Linux Mint is just an operating system just like Windows or Mac OS or Android or any of those other things. Um, and so that's what I put on here and it works just the same way as Windows or anything else works. Uh, I think it's really, I've done this over a hundred times uh, and have these computers out there uh, and everyone gets along with it just fine. But I do want to kind of run you through a little bit. So when you first boot in, uh, you get this little welcome. Obviously, you can dig into this all you want. You can decide you want to be you know, light mode or dark mode. You can pick your colors, all that kind of fun stuff, right? Um, and then you can just disable that whenever you're done here. By default, um, with all of these computers, I have Google Chrome installed um, and then Office like this is basically Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. They even have the same colors. Now, it's not Microsoft Word, it's LibreOffice, which is the free open source version of this. That's another reason I like putting Linux Mint and all of the stuff on these computers is because they are all free, completely free and open source legally. You're not stealing anything. This is all totally legit uh, and free, and this will keep updating as long as the machine runs. So you will just keep getting updates forever and everything will be secure, fast, and good. Um, now you can even, you know, with this, you can even uh, read or save as different Word documents. So even if you are saving it, uh, so you could do save as, and you can see here, uh, you can even save it in different Word formats. So even if you're sending somebody like an actual MS Word document, uh, you can do that in here as well. Um, Google Chrome works just like Google Chrome works anywhere. <laughs> uh, it all works good. You can install your apps, your extensions, whatever you want. Uh, and in fact, uh, if you do need actual Microsoft Office, like the official one, uh, Office 365 is what you should definitely just sign up for. Um, so basically you get all the Microsoft apps inside of here and it's just all in your web browser, so you don't even have to worry about it. So I recommend that if you actually want to do like official, official office, but for 99% of the people, I feel like this works good or just Google Docs or something like that. Um, going down, obviously you'll see here, this kind of like your start button. Uh, you can browse through here all you want. Again, there's just basic stuff on there for right now. Uh, I think I've also put Zoom in on all of these as well, especially all the ones with webcams. Uh, so that's in there as well. Um, maybe I should have covered this first, but like over here is where you hook up to the internet. So obviously your Wi-Fi there. Um, same thing with like Bluetooth. If you have a local printer, the printer stuff is right here. Uh, and this should automatically connect if you have like a printer hooked up or even on the same network. Uh, this should hook up automatically, which is super cool. Um, and here's your updates. Um, there are updates that come down pretty frequently. You don't need to rush to do them, but you can do them at any time. And it's real easy. You just kind of click on it and you say, cool, install updates. If it ever asks you for a password like it does here, um, by default, I just have all these as user, U-S-E-R, and click authenticate. Obviously, I'm going to show you how to change that if you want. Um, but yeah, so that'll just download and it'll just do its updates. So you don't need to worry. You can keep working in the background here. Now to go ahead and look at settings, you can just click on this little, you know, little settings icon here and you can check out, um, you know, all these settings here. Obviously this is where you can kind of change, like if the fonts are a little bit too small, you can bump them up or down or whatever you want, right? You can go ahead and you can tweak that. Same thing with colors, all that kind of stuff. Uh, account details, here's where you can change your password. If you want to change it from, you know, your username or password from user to user, you can go ahead and you can change that right there. Um, real, real easy stuff. So you can pop through here. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can do, but um, you might not even need to. <laughs> now for software, um, 
All you do is click on this icon right here. Uh, I went by that kind of fast. This little green icon with the white dots in there. So this is where you'll install software from. So this isn't like Windows where you go to some sketchy website and download you know, something. You can actually get everything right through here. Uh, you can even maximize this if you want. So you can look up like, okay, games, uh, and all of these are free too, right? So again, these aren't gonna be your typical, of course, if you wanna play games, you can install Steam and play games like that. Uh, and then all of these games are uh, just free and you know good to play as well, right? So whatever you want there. Um, and you can go through and you can search for it. And let's say you wanna do like something like Spotify, right? You can search as well. Um, and you can see that you know there's a couple different Spotify's in here. Uh, I'm going to talk about this just for a second. See, this will say like where it comes from down here where it says like Linux Mint Package or Flathub. This is just where the software is coming from. Um, as a general rule of thumb, I think you should always do the ones from Flathub because they're a little bit more up to date. Um, most things are going to be just in Flathub um, and that's it. And you just click install and then off you go. Now, if you want to browse this, right, if you're not, maybe you're considering getting one of these computers and you want to see if it's going to work for you, if you go to flathub.org, you can see this is it. I mean, this everything on Flathub right here. So uh, these are all apps that will work 100% on any computer that you get from me. Um, and so, yeah, so you can obviously search here, right? Uh, so you can see if, like, if it's got Spotify or you know, Steam or whatever you want, right? So all this stuff is here. Uh, there's a ton, a ton of really, really good and free software um, right here. So flathub.org is a great place to see uh, what apps you're going to have uh, here for, you know, for you, free. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Other than that, you see the updates that went, everything's good. And um, yeah, that's all there is to it. <laughs> Let me know if you have any questions, but this is pretty much uh, everything you need to know about your new computer.